One. Record. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Look how much travel is. Oh my gosh. This is funny as hell. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, it's a bit busy tonight. It's uh, We weren't able to hit the roundabout as fast as we normally would have liked. But uh, we might get a chance to do it again at a later date. Uh, we have now entered Place Charles de Gaulle Etoile. This is known as Star Square because 12 roads radiate from this massive roundabout. Standing in the centre is Napoleon Bonaparte's magnificent Arc de Triomphe, commissioned in 1806 to celebrate his victory at the Battle of Austerlitz. It wasn't completed until 1836. It took 30 years to build, unfortunately for Napoleon, he died in 1821. So he never got to see it completed. It's usually how it is. <clears throat> On his arrival back to France in 1810, he had a wooden mock-up created. So he and his wife, Josephine, uh, sorry, Marie Louise, Josephine was the first wife, Marie Louise's second wife, uh, could parade, parade beneath it. You can see the eternal flame below the center of the Arc de Triomphe, uh, which burns in memory of all the victims that died uh, without any known burial place from World War One and World War Two. You'll also find the tomb of the unknown soldier interred there in 1920, also in memory of soldiers uh, lost in war who have no known burial place. <coughs> You will see the names of 558 Napoleonic generals and around 30 different victories. Uh, shields containing the names of 30 different victories around the top of the Arc de Triomphe. Clocks in at around 51 meters wide, 45 meters high. It is the second largest triumphal arch in the world after the Arch of Titus, which is located in Rome. Um, you will see <coughs> the, uh, the different reliefs around the outside, depicting peace and resistance, the glory of 1810, and La Marseille, which is the allegory of the French national anthem of France calling forth her people. Now the roundabout is not moving at all. Now the uh, the convention is, with large roundabouts like this in, uh, in France, is that the people entering the roundabout have right of way. So anyone that's on the roundabout has to basically give way to anyone entering the roundabout, which is why everyone is stopped here in a big, massive, messy gridlock. Ten of rest traffic is not uncommon. As you can see, we've got about 23 and a half rest traffic this evening. Crazy. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. They're, okay, they're fine. She picked the wrong side. <laughs> You get it later. <laughs> yeah, I made sure to get these two. I was like, we got a big one over here. We got a nice little view over here. The Off to Triumph. Why? Huh? I'm going to cry. No, don't cry. <laughs> but it's nice, but like I said before, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, the Off to Triumph has always been. The home of large celebrations. Uh, when uh, when France won the World Cup a few years ago, they had a big, night. massive celebration, a huge French flag hanging from in between the Arc de Triomphe. Huge celebrations uh, around the Arc de Triomphe and all down the shops of Lisée, the street they were just about to enter. <laughs> I just love the uh, the French guy in the mini smoking a cigarette, one handing it around the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> so relaxed. <laughs> Alrighty, we are about to enter the most prestigious street 